Hello everybody, welcome back to the next video. Uh, today we're going to be going over my top 5 armies in Warhammer that are still desperately in need of a range refresh or a big major update from Games Workshop. Um, you know, there's a lot of armies in the game that, you know, pretty much all of them, I mean, we're never going to complain for new models, but there are some that are distinctly lacking in new stuff more than others. I just wanted to highlight those real quick and, you know, just get the conversation rolling, just get talking. Maybe we can come up with a couple uh, spicy new units to add to the ranges while we're at it. So, before we get started, as always guys, just a quick shout out to the channel sponsor, Lord of Skulls. Go there, get your awesome upgrades for your World Eaters army, whether it's helmets for your 8 bound, such as these that I used on mine. Very nice looking. Or a helmet for Angron, gotta cover up that nasty pig face, or any other upgrades for your Terminators, your Berserkers, you name it, he has it, he's adding new stuff all the time. Um, and this is just a uh, little addition, we're also going to shout out the Toad Rancher on Instagram. He does awesome edits, uh, specifically of your uh, model photos, or your like in-battle photos. He likes to uh, to edit those for people, and he adds cool little effects and things. He makes them look super cool. He did this awesome edit for me, and um, I said I'd give him a shout out because he wouldn't accept uh, wouldn't accept payment. So I gotta send some gotta send some revenue his way. So go and check out my man here, and you'll get some some awesome stuff uh, for your models. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and get talking. So, coming in at number 5, we have everybody's favorite green boys, it is the orcs. Now the orcs did get some updated models fairly recently in the form of like Gazgol and all the Beast Naga stuff, also a lot of their buggies are fairly new, but there are still some pretty big gaps in their range. We have stuff like, um, you know, we have the old boys being sold alongside the new boys, we have uh, a lot of their vehicles, while they still look good, are starting to show their age. And especially a lot of their characters, a lot of their unique named characters, and even some of their side ones like mechanics and docks and pain boys and things like that. Some of them got updates, some of them got like weird side grades where they got like a beast naga version. Um, or, you know, it's, it's like a lot of their options are old they have one option that's new and then they have some options that are old so there's a lot of room in there and they're orcs so orcs you can literally come up with anything they could come up with all new walkers they could come up with all new vehicles and tanks um new types of infantry you name it orcs have it. but specifically the characters are missing a lot and uh could you could do with an update so that is my number five army that could use another update they already got some but there's always room for more. Next we have the Drukari or the Dark Eldar. Now their range honestly looks pretty solid. A lot of their things uh, look, even though they might be slightly older, they look good. They look good together on the tabletop. Um, even if, you know, maybe, I don't, I don't know, I've never built any of them. Maybe putting them together is a little bit pain like some of those older kits are. They all look good. Their infantry looks good. Their vehicles look good. Um, but again, a lot of their characters and special models, um, things like the Slith, things like uh, some of their different HQ options or their like their bodyguard um, options, like the the I think they're called an Urgul or an Urgul, um, a Clawed Fiend. I know is another one that is showing its age a bit, um, and there's a few other things. They're like it's kind of like the orcs; they're odds and ends throughout the range, um, and it is also a pretty small range. There's a lot of room to add stuff in there, um, especially things like those weird bodyguard uh, units. Um, there's a lot of room there that they could they could come up with new things while also updating the old things, um, and that's something I want to touch on here too. Is that I'm much more in favor of updating a whole range before we start adding new stuff. Games Workshop loves to crank out those new models, new, 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 new. And then there's still models that have been sitting there for 20 years that look like crap. I would way, way rather they spent like two years, the next two years, and updated everybody's current stuff before they started adding new stuff. Like, as some of the things we're going to get to here in the video, there are some things that are 
it's just kind of sad that they're still in the store, quite frankly. Um, but so yeah, so the Dark Elder are my number four. Um, similar to the orcs, a lot of the range looks good. There's a few things that could could do with an update. Now we have number three, and of course I'm going to be biased about this. This is my Tau, and more specifically, you know, my Tau are the Kruk, of course. Um, now the Tau range is interesting because basically all the battle suits and all the actual Tau stuff looks pretty good. I think there's maybe a couple of their smaller characters that could do with an update. So, um, you know, to be generous, let's say they could maybe add a new suit, a new tank, a new vehicle. Um, and maybe a, a, a new small character to a new ethereal or whatever. But where the range is really lacking is their auxiliaries. Of course, this is something that all Tau fans and especially all auxiliary fans have been asking for for a very long time. There used to be more crude stuff. They took it all away. Now we're left with kind of just the bare bones. Although we did recently get the Farstalkers kit. Now that's a great start. We need more. In the lore, the Tau actually have... It's not just the crew and the Vespid. They have like 20 different races with them. Let's start seeing some more of that. Even if it's, you know, flesh out the crew a little bit more, another model or two, maybe bring back the Narlock Cavalry, new Vespid, and then keep going. Give us three or four other different new weird ones. Give them a weird big monster. It, did, it would be awesome if it was a great Narlock, but it would also be awesome to have something completely new. Um, you can fill some new, other niches in the army. Give us a better combat unit, maybe. Maybe make the crew more specialized for stealth and glass cannony. Maybe give us a more tanky frontline unit. I know that's not really the Tau's thing for their army. And and so, you know, you're trying to keep the identity of the army. They're a shooting faction. I get that. But the thing is, is if you're a Tau fan and a Tau lover and you really like your Tau and you really like your battle suits, you can still have that whole army. But if you want to have the auxiliaries and you want to have that flavor, let's see some more of that. Let's add to that so we can have, you know, people like me that like the auxiliaries then have that option as well. And I think there would be a huge market for it. So there's a lot of room there to add stuff. Um, not less refreshing with the Tau range. It just needs, there's gaps that could be filled pretty easily. Now we move on to number two. And now we're into a pretty pretty bad offender in my opinion we have the chaos demons this again is a little bit close to home because i have my crew demons army of course and i am using a fair bit of the demon stuff in it so i'm really getting to see firsthand what we're working with here the demons army kind of falls into this place that i would have said a lot of the up newly updated tyranid stuff falled in where at a distance and on the table and as an army it actually still holds up fairly well where it starts to come apart a bit is the lack of poses the aggressive mold lines on those older sculpts and those older models um, and then just a sheer lack of variety these are demons they literally are half the time they're formless they're half formed they're malformed they can come in every different shape size and flavor for a faction like that and then you go look at say corn well literally any of them and really other than they have a an abundance of characters which are, a lot of them also are showing their age too they have a lot of characters and then they have like three four actual units per army so if you wanted to have a corn army you are with blood letters blood thirsters i guess we're straying into hqs now so let's just stay no hqs blood letters blood crushers cavalry uh and the skull cannon and that's pretty much it as far as I'm aware. There might be one thing I'm forgetting. Um, but other than characters, you literally have three units. That's crazy. A lot of people don't like all the chaos gods. A lot of people don't want to play. Uh, it is all one big, you know, amalgamation of, of chaos. They want just, you know, to play corn or to play Slanesh or to play Nurgle. And you have, like, no options to do that. It's crazy. Um, Demons, I would say, is one of the more, you know, mainstay big factions. Like, I would say more people probably play Chaos Demons than they do Gene Stealer Cults, which is great for kit bashers because everyone's just making their own shit. But the lack of variety is crazy. And then, as I said, all pretty much all of those models are pretty old and showing their age. There's a few, like, I think all the greater demons are pretty good. 
Uh, the new Demon Prince is good. Some of the other HQs are good. But all the infantry, for sure, most of the special units, there is, I would say, well over half of that range is due for a refresh. And I haven't heard one thing. I haven't seen one rumor about a Demon's refresh. It's crazy. Look at, go look at this. Go look at the Screamers. Go look at the Flamers. Um, you know, even like the Beasts of Nurgle that are all like basically monopose. Like I know they have a couple little options. It's like, this is crazy. Like, what are we doing here? Look at, look at like blood letters. Look at the demonettes. It's like 10 of the exact same guy. Basically. There's no like dynamic poses. Nobody's jumping and fighting. It's yeah. GW get on that. We need it, please. And last but not least, and I feel like this is probably going to be a surprise to absolutely no one. We have the Eldar which I can't believe this is 2023 and I'm talking about Eldar needing an update because did what was it not was it last year the year before it was oh it's a big Eldar update coming they updated like five things I feel like it was not near and so it's just crazy to me that they would do like half of them or some not even half but some of them and not just go and do all of them while they're at it because like you have like when they whenever they do these updates right and they release a new box set to go with it like you're getting people into that faction like people are seeing these shiny new models and then they're either going oh shit i need to start a new elder army or maybe they're brand new people and they're going wow these new El these elder they look pretty cool look at these cool models they just got like that's awesome and then you go look at the other half of their range and you're like well i guess i won't be having any fire dragons or i guess i won't be getting a uh, striking scorpions or karan dress or whatever um sorry i don't know every every elder off the top of my head but yeah that that range just just the sheer fact that they kind of half did it and then quit that needs to be done asap like i would say that eldar are kind of one of those like you know a like with 40k like i kind of picture it it's same, similar to fantasy and whatever you've got your like four or five like key factions for which all others kind of branch off and i would say that like the founding members of 40k and i'm sure there's going to be somebody that you know knows the original lore and maybe there is isn't quite right but to me it would seem as like your space marines your chaos space marines your eldar and your orcs and those are kind of like your founding ones, because the Necrons weren't originally there, and the Tyranids weren't originally there, and all the other Imperial factions that kind of spawned off of Space Marines and whatnot. Maybe not the uh, Imperial Guard, I know they've been around for a while, but Eldar are kind of one of those like mainstay factions, like you've always had your Space Elves. And the Space Elf range is missing half its shit, so I would say... That is probably my number one, uh, just because it's kind of crazy that it hasn't been done yet. Now, this is filmed long after the fact, but I just realized that I forgot a major player in this discussion of ranges desperately needing an update. And that is the Space Marine armies that are still rocking mainly or, you know, have the majority of their unique models, Mini Marines. What on earth are we doing, GW? We've even got proper size corn berserkers at this point, and you're telling me the whole Grey Knight army is still tiny? You went and you're updating every single Space Marine. How have you not slipped those in yet? I get that you want to separate it. You know, you're going to do a big Grey Knight wave of releases, but they're Marines too, and they look like shit. You also got the Sanguinary Guard for the Blood Angels and their other unique models, and the Space Wolf ones. So. Those all need to be addressed immediately. So that's an honorary mention. You've got to slip those in as well. But uh, anyways, guys, that's all for today. Uh, just a quick video going over that stuff. I have a lot of big videos coming up, but they're all kind of like waiting on stuff to arrive or waiting on uh, me to finish certain things and get them ready. So it's like there's going to be probably a little bit of a lull, and then there's going to be a bunch of bigger videos coming out, uh, more you know exciting things, me um you know building interesting things and whatnot if you want to see that stuff early uh feel free to check out my patreon link down below it's only a dollar uh, and you get to see most of that stuff early you get to see all my kit bashes and you get to see more behind the scenes work in progress stuff and support for the channel and all that good stuff so either way guys 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And tell me which faction you would like to see get an update next. Bye.